Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. Show arrest 45 day detention is unacceptable. We will challenge it, says Falano. Mr. Femi Falano, SAN. Who is your arrest lawyer indicated to the punch on Thursday that he would file an application to challenge the order by a federal high court in Abuja that granted the Department of State Services permission to detain the publisher of Sahara Reporters and convener of the hashtag revolutionary protest, Omo Yelishiwore, for 45 days. Falano, who was unwilling to give many details, said Shiwore had, as of Wednesday, envisaged the Thursday ruling and that and had instructed that it should be challenged. The senior lawyer said, I saw him yesterday Wednesday when he had already envisaged that the order for the dissension for his dissension would be granted. So he had already given us the instruction to challenge it. Despite this, many organizations, including the European Union, Afeniferi, Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, Free Nigeria Movement and senior lawyers, including Mike Ozekome, SAN, forted the order. Why Serap said it would petition the United Nations Human Rights Council on the continued detention of Showare, Afeniferi, and Ozekome called for the unconditional release of the presidential candidates of the African Action Congress in the 2019 presidential poll. They described the order as unjust. Um, thank God that is a, the learned lawyers, they are the ones speaking. The Serap, uh, Michael Zekome, and Femi Falano. At least we know we should, at least we should believe that they know what they are talking about. It's not a ordinary people. When I mean ordinary people, those that are not in the field of law, those are the people that are ordinary. And more so, even the ordinary people, the people that are not in that profession, Ordinarily, they would tell you at least they know little about law. So even if they are talking, people will like, no, you are not in the best position to talk. But because you don't have a, a knowledge, a more knowledge about that field. But uh, it's a good thing that the people that have more knowledge, even they are even uh, senior advocates of Nigeria, they are talking and I think they should know what they are talking about. So let us see how everything is going to turn out. I listened to one of a fellow, not a, uh, a broadcaster, uh, when he, on a video, he was saying it will be unfair or it will be unwise for the government to even charge Shore to courts that even the people in government now that they will be the witness because he know one of them he didn't want to mention the name of course everybody knows who he's talking about that one of them is going to be the witness because in 2011 they know the road the sold corpus in the government now played at that time, when he was saying everybody should, uh, Nigerians should emulate uh, the Egyptian revolution and the Nigerians should come for revolution, you know, to, to be able to talk about the, the unjust and the uh, abnormalities that were really happening as at that time. So, are you not turn around for somebody to say that and you are saying you are charging the person for treason? I'm also, again, uh, some people are of the opinion that why would they be uh, charging uh, Shogore? Why would they be arresting him for even the offense he has not committed but the government is coming in defense that oh the same people that are accusing them that this and that that they will say okay ah uh, they are still, they are still going to be the people that will blame them that when the guy was was making such statement that they never reacted they never acted on time you know now they are telling us that they are proactive and that was why they quickly arrested them or arrested him so that you know before it goes out of hand but we have some situations some cases that we are that we are having now that they have been pussy footy about for close to how many years they've been in power they will tell you that they are baba goes that they take their time to do things and things are going wrong the things are going bad just like uh mike ozekome said that this government is you know allergic to criticism anything that you know that talks about them they are so allergic to it they are so infuriated they are, they are so quick to judge they are so quick to to move swiftly and you know to start arresting, to start calling things a speech, a uh, treason, a uh, treasonable felony. Uh, they will call it uh, another name, unpatriotic, and all manner of names. You know, you are you are you are a product of uh, uh, terrorism. Those are the things that they will, you know, charge you for. So 
let us see how this whole thing is going to end at the end of the day of course a lot of people are really reacting you know uh, 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 on, on the side of the show and some are for him and some are against him so but the issue is that whether you are for him whether you are against him the 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 thing is that we are in all of this together <laughs> you cannot escape it even if you like you try to cover up some things even if you like you try to turn it you try, you try to twist it we are in all of this together whatever that is happening now we are all facing it Someone say, bring it on. In fact, it's not going to be detained. Guess what? He's going to go to jail. Father, no, you are a loser fighting a losing battle. Your noise, your noise about retired or no, hey? Where did it get you? Zero dest destination. The same fate awaits you on Shuwari Kiss. Okay, let us see. Now, these are the same people that we are talking about. Of course, we are not surprised. We have a lot of them. They are, they are social media warriors. They will be going from one platform to another platform you know be discrediting what people you know uh, good mind people that have good mind what they are saying and what they are talking about they are only just to you know to to continue to support evil of course uh, the devil has a fan so it's not it's not a new thing and it's not strange to us like i said in whatever thing that you do in whatever thing that you say we are in all of these things together nigerian need to be changed what did you expect from persons like Mike and Falano? Of course, to make the usual noise. But the good thing is that his lordship has granted the DSS his request. So Shore will remain detained. Noisemakers can go on with their noisemaker, uh, with their noise making. If the federal government didn't release Shore, this uh, this zoo we born. God be with you. God be with us in this country. Lead our leader right. Nigeria is a lawless country. We look where Nigeria is heading to. The Lord will deliver us. This government is a mistake. Nigeria needs Jesus and all will be well. Constitution or no constitution, the rulers have violated the law. The govern and, uh, government had also disobeyed the rule of law that govern this nation. Then who is to blame? Who is to be blamed? The answer is for us all to answer. Jesus have mercy and save Nigeria. What a country under this government. We are watching those who vote this government. Thank you very much. Thank you for voting in this government. We are all in all of this together. Like I have been repeating. This judge, hmm, almighty God, we always judge you very soon. Just continue with what you are doing. If you are doing the right thing, fine. If you are not doing the right thing, you know, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, Highest judge is God, and that's what uh, that's who uh, people are calling. Nigeria needs to stand up for justice, equity, and fairness. It should be fair. It should be our country integrity, for justice and equity. But do we really have integrity? Is there anything like integrity now, in what we are seeing? You guys, you should be able to answer that. Lawless nation, judiciary has been subdued. We no longer have any rights under our constitution. Some people will just open their vaca cavity to say whatever they prefer to say. On what ground it was given such a condition? The revolution it called for was well explained and comprehended. Cause we can continue like this. The reason why some of us are keep supporting a failed government is because it has not come to our doorstep. PMB that had been clamoring to become the president of Nigeria. We thought he has something to offer, but has failed us. That is something someone is saying there. Federal government immediately arrest Falano. They should arrest him. I, I, that, that would be fine. That would be a good thing. Let them arrest him and let's see what happens. Nigeria as a country is a movie to see. This is season one. Let us wait for season two and see what happens next. Nigeria needs to change. And Nigeria needs to be changed. An interested party, it can be swept off if the revolution succeeds. Is this Falano really a senior advocate of Nigeria? Or, or what? Always for fail or a battle, just making noise. Uh, let's see whether he's making noise or not. If he's not making noise, so on, on whose side are you? Are you on the side of the masses or you are on the side of the government? The judiciary has been subdued to the extent that they do not want to do anything just. 
why are Nigerians so cowardly to take injustice for justice? One may ask. One day, God will show Nigerians what justice looks like. This is very undemocratic. I can't believe that President Buhari was too so low to allow this to happen. To allow this to happen. In 2014, PMB was cited together with other comrades protesting the state of insecurity that's not that as not as worse as it is now. Hmm. There is God though. They came together with other comrades protesting the state of insecurity that has not even not worse as what we are even experiencing now. It was not as worse as that then compared to what we are seeing now. You see a lot of things going on, and some people will tell you, keep quiet, don't say anything, just keep mom. The government is doing something, and you are saying that they are pussy footy about it. You say people should not talk. You are saying something because you are talking because you are unpatriotic. So if things are going wrong and people are saying it, and you call it being uh, unpatriotic, like people always say, God will have mercy. So guys, uh, let us uh, have your own take concerning what uh, uh, Falano has said. Maybe uh, Falano is just making noise as usual. Just as some people have really stipulated that it's just making noise, that it's a failed battle. And whether the detention they are talking about, whether they are going to reverse it or not, but they said they are going to challenge it. Please put down your comments in the comment section. Let's hear your own take. Thank you very much. Bye.